How to use the Corvin wine system. In this video, I'll be taking a deep dive into the Corvin wine system model one. And I'll share with you the four mistakes I learned the hard way. The Corvin is totally a game changer in the wine world. And look, I tasted this wine nine months ago by using this, you can see it's still sealed, nine months ago, and if I did it correctly, it's gonna taste as fresh as it did then. Here's the gist of the way that it works. The two main components of the Corvin is the argon gas canister found inside the base, as well as an extremely sharp needle that is used to puncture straight through the cork and extract the wine. It's almost like a very sharp straw. Now argon gas may seem scary, but it actually makes up 1% of the air we breathe. And the great thing about the argon gas is that it's flavorless and odorless, and it's heavier than oxygen, so it sits right on top of the wine. These cartridges are easy to replace. They slide right in, you twist and turn. Now, they cost about $10 a piece, but you get close to four bottles of usage out of each one. Before you push the needle down, you wanna give a quick burst of argon to clear the needle of any oxygen. Then you simply push down through the cork and then at a 40 degree angle, you push the button again to release the wine. You can push it a couple short little pumps to do that and you're on your way. Here are the four biggest mistakes I learned the hard way. Number one, the Corvin does not work with synthetic or rubber corks, only natural cork. The wine will pour out, but the chances are the closure will not happen. Check out this demo I made. In this example here, this is a dried out cork, which is gonna be similar to a synthetic cork. And I'm taking the actual needle from the Corvin and puncturing this cork so you can see the effect of the needle. Now, more importantly, when the needle is withdrawn from the cork, you can see the hole that it's left. And that's where the air escapes. Now, since we are leaving the closure on, we don't know what kind of cork is underneath. We could always take the capsule off, of course, but you don't have to. But I'd like to go by the rule of $25. Chances are, if you paid more than $25 for your bottle of wine, it's natural cork and not synthetic. Number two, another cork issue. Actually, the temperature of the cork is very important. If the temperature is below 59 degrees, the bottle, if it's below 59 degrees, then the cork may not seal properly. This digital bottle thermometer is so helpful in knowing the baseline of where your bottle starts. It's not included with the Corvin, but I highly recommend getting one. Withdrawing the Corvin slower gives the cooler cork a chance to seal up better. And number three is not swirling your glass and aerating enough right after you get your first pour. Argon gas is heavier than air, and when you withdraw the Corvin, it leaves a little bit of argon discharge in your wine. And that's why it's important to give your wine a swirl, because that argon can act sort of as a cap. So you might not smell your wine as strongly. So you want to give your, your wine a good swirl and let that argon blow off. And number four, and this is a big one, it's the most common mistake, is not to release enough gas you don't hit any gas right before you push the needle in. You're actually putting air into the bottle as opposed to preserving it. You just need to hit that button once to release some argon before you inject the needle so you're not pushing in air into the bottle of wine. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I tapped into this wine about nine months ago. And if I did everything correct, uh, it should be just like it was nine months ago. So let's let's have a let's have a check here. Let's check it out. I mean, you can. Wow. That's exciting. That's I can just smell how fresh it is right now. It hasn't changed at all. It's like it was just open, really. That is. Uh, I get excited about this stuff. You know, I, it's just very exciting technology.
incredible. That's great. Very fresh. So I think you can see that the pros far outweigh the cons with the Coravin. Um, if you're a person who likes to enjoy nice wines and you want to tap into one from time to time, or maybe your wife likes whites and you like reds and you want to have your own bottle, you don't want to drink a whole bottle, you just want to have a nice glass from time to time, this is great. Maybe you're a restaurant that wants to up their game when it comes to the uh, buy the glass program, you want to offer some nicer wines. This is a no-brainer. So uh, I'm really happy with this and a couple of things you just have to pay attention to you make those mistakes. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, in the next video, if you want to learn how to chill wine really fast, you're going to want to hit the notification button and subscribe because I've got some super ninja techniques for chilling wine fast. So don't miss that. Have you used the Coravin before? I'd love to hear your comments. Oh, and down below in the description is current pricing for this model. But if you have any questions, please um, leave a comment down below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Salute. Still fresh. Amazing.